Rachel Riley has made a plea for people to stop referring to her relationship as being part of the so-called Strictly curse, considering that she has since married and welcomed two children with her former Strictly come dancing partner Pasha Kovalev. Rachel Riley has asked that she and her family not be referred to as part of the Strictly curse during a discussion about the program on the podcast Dirty Mother Pucka with Anna Whitehouse. The Countdown presenter met her husband Pasha Kovalev through Strictly Come Dancing when she was still married, but insists that the pair did not fall for one another until much later. Rachel, 36, opened up about her annoyance at being branded with the Strictly Cursed years after taking part in the BBC One show. She and husband Pasha met in 2013 after they were partnered up for the dancing competition, but she has maintained that they are not a part of some curse. The Strictly Curse is a term used by both fans and the media to describe the romantic entanglements and breakups that have happened over the years to various couples on the show. The close relationships dancers form with their on-screen partners are often blamed for when their off-screen relationships suffer during their time on Strictly. When Anna asked Rachel when she first fell in love with professional dancer Pasha, the maths whiz was keen to set the record straight. Well, that wasn't until much later, she said. I mean strictly. At the time I did it I was married. That was really short. Before wedding Pasha, Rachel married fellow former Oxford student Jamie Gilbert in August 2012, but announced they were separating in November 2013 while she was competing on Strictly. When probed further about whether mentions of the Strictly curse ever annoyed her, Rachel spoke about her family. I mean I still get it, I'm never going to avoid it, she sighed. But now it's like, you know, we've got two children. At what point can you just not call my children, the strictly curse, she asked incredulously. The star also pointed out that she had appeared on the show, almost nine years ago, and concluded that she only had to answer to herself and her family.